All right, you ready to get started on episode two? On episode two, you started it. Yes, I've been ready. Oh, uh, well, just cut this. I'll, I'll pause for a second and then start talking again. I just cut the first part. Out. I know that's what I'm saying, but I'm giving you a part to cut. Okay. Welcome back to Conquer's Bad Fur Day. On the previous episode, we did the the training level and found out that the designers have made changes. In this episode, we start the game's first real chapter, Wendy. Just follow the signs. And that, that's a sign, but I don't think it's really explicitly telling me that the hive is up here. I can't believe I missed. And the final hit. You see that, you see that over there? See this? Yes. That's a later area. Spoiler alert. Fancy. This is the worst. Four and I tried. <laughs> Thought I was gonna get hit again, and I was like, no. Not this. Grab the chocolate back here. The chocolate. The choco. Now run. These guys are one of my favorites. I think I might have been a little bit slow pressing forward. I'm gonna get you. They might. I think you run like just slightly faster than them. You see how like I'm slowly like gaining ground? Uh huh. I'm pretty sure they walk just slightly slower than you do. They're about to get taught a lesson they won't soon forget. Remember when you laughed at this part? It made, it made that episode special. <laughs> now we have to redo it. Ha! 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 <laughs> Eat Lad, the return of Matt Hazard. Or whatever it is. That's my favorite part, though. It adds a nice little touch. I wish instead of exploding, he just kind of ran off into the water. Oh, that's not surprising. Oh, really? That doesn't surprise me. What? what? Nothing. <laughs> anyway, as a reward for your good service to the bee community, I present you with this. Looking for me? Oh. His smile creeps me out. Like, look at his teeth. And then he just lost half his money. My favorite thing is the fact that like all the characters were voiced by two different people, except for one. So it's like that one guy's talking to himself a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You need manual. Otherwise, no. Huh? That doesn't work. Twenty-five. Oh. Uh, uh, got any Mepsi box? What? Don't matter. Actually, uh, I think. Uh, well, uh, 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 ten dollar. Long time. You don't mind you a long time. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Manual. Just press B. <laughs> oh, 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 get me out of here. Hey, 
you. Come here. Come on. I want to go back in there. Hurry up. Okay. Help me. And now we have this. Oh, well, let me skip it. Great. That takes forever. The hitboxes are wonderful. Just kind of shoot them from a mile away. Good thing you don't run out of ammo right now. I mean, why would you? Look at look at the game. This way. So, what is the key element in this experimentation? We have the table, yeah? The milk in the glass broken. Ah, I see a problem. Oh, and the scissor. Hmm. Seems to be a... Hmm. I must do some experiments, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And we will sort this out. And when my head is... Well, my lord, we will see who uses the duct tape. <laughs> Jump across here. Gotta teach this guy a lesson. And now we get to meet Jack. I see you, a silly little fella. You better get this fat ass bitch off from of my back pronto. Gee, so many people around here want me to solve their problems. What are you gonna do for me then? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I say I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You get rid of that freaking mouse critter, uh, and maybe I'll help you out. Just maybe. Oh, just one more thing. I say, just one more thing. You make one into my friend, Bird. Just mention my name, Jack, and everything will be just dandy. Going for a casual little run. And it's Bert. Hi, you must be Bert. I'm Bert. Jack sent me. I'm open the gate for you here, and you can get on with what oh. is ever that you're trying to do. That's all you do? Great. I don't really understand what the point of having this, this cheese corralled in over here when the whole area is made of cheese is. Those cheese are special. They're alive. They have eyes in the mouth. It makes them more delicious. Mm -hmm. You can taste. You can taste their scream of terror while you eat them. That was nice. Oh, ooh, I'd like another though, if that's okay. You know what the best part about the voice acting is? It's all by uh, one of the guys that was like one of the main designers. <laughs> he was multi talented.
One more should just about do it. Marvelous! One more should just about do it. I'm learning. I see. Imagine having every line of dialogue in this game memorized. I think it actually has like a pretty high amount of dialogue for the time period and the genre. kids if you accidentally eat too much food you will blow up and explode it's a dangerous world we live in Sure what happened. No, you want some great stuff. No. Yeah. Not that great. I gotta get me some of the green stuff. Not that green stuff. What? Don't swatch off. No. Yes, it is. What? When? What's the context? The episode where uh, SpongeBob was learning what the true meaning of Selma was. Oh. Oops. It's the one about Krabby Land. Okay. And at the end, the kids are throwing the money off the roof. I gotcha. Let's find out what's real neat. Hey, you over there. Huh? Yeah, you. Apparently, there's something real neat inside this barn. Uh, I can't quite see it myself. Unless, of course, some guy's jumping around stinking a horse poo's real neat. Which, uh, of course, it isn't. <laughs> This is pretty neat. Hey, Frankie! I think there's a little fellow over there. He's just coming in through the door. I think it's your turn to kick his... Is it your turn? Is it his turn? Yeah, yeah, I think it's his turn. Yeah, Frankie, go and kick his ass. Go on, go on, kick his ass. I hate kicking, but it's, not, it's always my turn to kick my asses. Frank, just get over there and kick his ass, Frank, for f***ing sake. Yeah, yeah, go over there and kick his ass. Somebody's got to kick his ass. It ain't gonna be me. I'm a, I'm a broad. Now you don't kick ass. But I'm a paint pot anyway. I'm a f***ing paint pot. Go and kick his ass. I, I, uh, okay, I'll kick his ass. I'm not going over there. He can come over here. Okay, okay, hey. hey quick, here he comes. Quick, quick. Just keep still, keep still. Yeah. I don't know why they bother making you walk across here, but they did. What the damn diddly squat are you doing in my barn? Well, I never. It's a talking pitchfork. Not from around here, are you, boy? No, I'm from the 21st century. I don't rightly recollect liking your type. Therefore, I conclude that I'm just gonna kick your butt all around this barn like there's no tomorrow. I'm just gonna stick my big fork right in you. Were your parents related, like before they were married? Right, that's it. I is gonna give you a whooping. Here we go. <laughs> nope. He lost me already. 
smart. Come on. Did he even hit one of them? No. Come on. Come on, Frankie. You're letting me down. Here we go. I did this so well in the first take. Sweet, the two for one. Magic taught me those are good. This is a big one too. You can do it. Yeah. Alright. Did I did I lose him? Where did he go? Come on. It really can't be that hard to see me. Yay. Ass in my time, and that is the this crappiest, crappiest, this kick ass I've ever seen. Yeah, I, yeah, that's pretty crap. As kick as kicking ass goes, it was abysmal, and you is a sh bastard, stupid bastard, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he sure is. So, what are you gonna do now? Kill yourself, because that's what I recommend. Yeah, you should kill yourself. And Matt, we got a rope right here, and we got a rope. Yeah, we got a rope. There you go. <laughs> what kind of friends are you? I, I, oh, in that case, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself right now. That's all there is to it. F*** you. What are you doing? <laughs> you stupid bastard. <laughs> he hasn't even got a neck. Or an esophagus of any description. You ain't gonna nag, are you? You ain't gonna nag, I already said that. Shut up. Oh, okay. I don't believe it. That's not even the right line. A neck of any description. In fact, I ain't got an esophagus. Oh, diddle die damn. I'm gonna be up here for some time. Have these chocolates. Open the door. <laughs> My arch nemesis has been defeated. Time to wander around aimlessly. I like to pretend like I know the lines, but I really don't. It's me again. Right. Time to wander around. Aimlessly. Boom. Boom. Hey, buddy. Can you spare me a dime? Hey, buddy. Don't ignore me. Oh, they always ignore me. Hey! Uh, oh, what do you want? Do you know, in my own country, I am a king! Oh, really? Yeah. Top bitch threw me out. Apparently, the hide keeps getting stolen. Well, I don't care. I couldn't fit in the f thing anyway. You see how fat she is? Bitch. Now I'm reduced to the states of a bum. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I gotta go now. Uh, you're like the rest of them. I ain't gonna tell you about the big-breasted babe then. The... the... the big what? Uh, thought that might have got your attention. She's lovely. That's why the wife kicked me out. Uh, all I want to do is pollinate her. Oh, she's got stigmas like you wouldn't believe. What do you mean? I thought you Of his, his hand motions. They're the best. Yeah, I just, in that, in that specific cutscene. Yes. Hang on a second. Breast. She's a sunflower. Yeah. What do you 
you expecting of me? Use a summer flower that brings breath. I'm a bee. Stupid bastard. Okay, I don't need to get offended now. Sorry. You gotta help me out, buddy. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, hmm. What's in it for me? Cash. Cash? Ah, well, I thought you were begging. Uh, yeah. Just, yeah. Let's see if we can go talk the sunflower into some things. My depth perception is the best. Too tickly. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. Hey, get that big, long, hairy tail away from me. <laughs> I'll suit yourself. Mm, be like that. Huh. I wonder what that meter is in the side of the screen. Like how it shows up just a little bit too soon. That your pacifist line has to be one of my my favorite things in the game. No, I just think it's it's funny because it's like they're bees, but they only tickle people, so they're pacifists. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. I'm gonna try to not fight the enemies here. They're not very threatening. He's gonna get you. They're just kinda waddling around or whatever it is they do. Did I I got the one out of there, right? Yes. Yes. So we gotta get the one up here and the one over from the side. Yes. We This time for real. I didn't need the chocolate. Grab the bees. I'll get down here without. Yeah, did it. Okay, over here. Actually, if I if I had grabbed them first, I think I could have saved some time, or it might not make it. Yes, it doesn't make a difference. Cause I instead of fighting those guys, I can cross over here and then jump through there and go like that. That time saving method, though. facial expression. Cheers, little fella. I feel like a new... So do I. So do I. Conquer, honey. Fancy going for a bounce? A bounce? Okay. Now this is what I call a flat bump game. I can do this. First try. I lied. Second try. Third time's the charm. 
fourth time here. Right, got it. For real. <laughs> I'm not very good. I'm not I'm not I'm not very skilled with boobs. <laughs> Finally. That'll do it for another episode of Conker's Bad Fur Day. As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to catch us next time on Radical Game Guys.